Hi, I'm Elan, and today we'll learn how to create your chatbot's personality in CocoHub.ai. It means that in addition to the chatbot's main functionality and goals, it will also be able to answer frequently asked questions. And if the conversation is going off topic, it will also be able to have a small talk with your customer or user based on the personality you choose. First of all, let's go to CocoHub.ai and log in. Open an account or log in using your email, Google, Facebook or GitHub account and let the fun begin. For example, today we'll create a bot of a virtual science teaching assistant. Here, in the next screen, you define the identity of the bot. First of all, although we will give some suggestions, you can go your own way. Let's call our bot Tanya. Then, pick one of the existing 12 avatars. They come in different appearances, skin tones and genders. In addition, pick one of the voices. Next to every voice, you see the voice's pitch and whether it's mature or young. Got all three? Great, your bot already has a digital presence, an identity. Also, notice that nothing is set in stone. Even after the bot is ready and active, you can always go and change those characteristics by clicking Edit Info in the main dashboard. The second stage is the base personality, and here we have the templates, which are here to give you a better starting point. For example, a receptionist can answer questions about your business and company, while a friend can be your virtual companion, and so on. After we choose a template, we're getting some basic characters that can define our bot. Let's say that we want one of our own, so Tanya will be a university teaching assistant that loves chemistry and physics. Attention, if you're writing your own description, please keep it around 10 to 12 words. Now comes the real magic. After instilling a personality into the bot, every time the bot is faced with a question it wasn't prepared for, it goes into the personality and gives an answer that's derived from the description you gave. For example, let's talk with Tanya here. Similar to the external characteristics of the chatbot personality, you can always change the persona as well. Click on the Edit Info in the bot dashboard, select the Base Persona tab and write something else. Between the base personality and the brain, which is what the bot actually does, there is the general knowledge of the bot. It can be related to the business, company or person it represents. Click on Knowledge in the brain section, then proceed to the answers. You only need to provide the answers from the bot to the question you think the users will ask it. For example, if the answer is, I'm available for your inquiries every day between 8 and 9 p.m., we'll know that she'll answer that for students asking when they'll be able to chat with her. If the answer is, I'm teaching at City University, the question will be, where are you teaching? And if the answer is, the grades will be given two weeks after the exam, again, we can guess the question. If we didn't get it right, you can click on Advanced and on the relevant answer, choose the Question Examples tab, then add the questions you want the bot to give the aforementioned answers to. You don't need to give any possible way of asking, just give a few phrases. From there, our engine is supposed to do the rest. Then, inside, we'll have the educational skill itself, the brain. For example, asking the students what's the first element on the periodic table, or who created the three laws of motion. Here, we have the three elements of your chatbot's personality, the functionality or skill, the frequently asked questions, and the base persona. If you need any further help, please let us know. Contact us at contact at a-i.com or send me an email at eran, E-R-A-N, at a-i.com. Good luck and may the bots be with you.